Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online in-depth guide. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and enjoyed some time off of work with your families. But today we're going to be going in-depth on the new Up and Atomizer or Ray Guns stats and features. If you guys logged in yesterday on Christmas you should have gotten this weapon for free, but if not it should be available soon at Ammunition for a price of about $400,000. Starting with the weapon's ranges, the ray gun has a maximum lock-on range of only 20 meters, making it the worst lock-on range out of every single weapon in the game. Not even the shotguns have a lock-on range that is this short, so you're not going to have to worry too much about getting locked onto by this weapon. Most of your kills are going to be coming from free aim shots, which will hit your target up until 96 meters while the projectile will blow up on its own. One thing to note is that the aiming reticle will appear red when you aim at your target longer than the weapon's actual range, unlike the other weapons in the game, so even if you see a red dot, it doesn't mean that it will actually reach that far when you shoot it. The ray gun shoots a very fast projectile that I calculated to be at a speed of around 167 meters per second. Comparing it to the other projectile weapons, the RPG and the homing launcher, you can see that it's way faster than both of them. This weapon does not run on ammunition count, it runs on a recharge time, and you'll be able to shoot it every 2 seconds. Using it against a player, it will take you 3 shots in order to kill them with no secondary buffs like armor or BST. If you use just body armor, it's still going to take only 3 shots to kill you, however, you will have a little bit more health before the last shot than without using body armor. If you use BST, it will take 4 shots in order to kill you. And if you combine both BST and body armor, it'll take 5 ray gun shots in order to take you out. Using BST as the ray gun user does not increase your damage at all, it's still going to take you 3 shots to kill whoever you're shooting at. I know that was a lot of information that I just went over really quickly, so I put it all into this chart in order to summarize it. So the regular beat decay or bullets to kill is going to be 3. If you use body armor, it's still going to be 3. If you use BST, it's going to take 4. And if you use body armor and BST, it's going to be 5. And finally, BST does not increase the ray gun's damage. And I should also mention that headshots do not increase its damage, and that it does not have a damage drop off range either, so those numbers are always going to be correct at any range given that criteria. The up anatomizer will knock a player off of their bike if they are hit with it, including the oppressor Mark II. So the question is is this a good weapon to use against Mark II oppressors? Well, it's good if they're hovering trying to kill you because one shot will knock them off, but if they're moving, then hitting a free aim shot will be extremely difficult. In auto aim, it could be good, but honestly, if you want to knock someone off of an oppressor mark 2 with auto aim, the explosive shotgun is better because 1. it has a longer lockdown range of 35 meters instead of the ray gun's 20, and 2. it's not a projectile, it's hit scan, so you won't ever have to lead the target. The blast radius from the ray gun will blow up sticky bombs, both that are placed on the ground as well as in the target's hand, which can be funny for those tryhards that like to put sticky bombs at their feet while sniping. You can use this to instant kill them with the ray gun. It does do damage to cars, although it's unlikely you'll notice this against cars that have their armor upgraded because it does take a while to blow them up. The good news is they'll be stuck flipping around in that vehicle because of the kinetic force, so they won't be escaping. Against helicopters, it does give them quite a shove. I recommend aiming for the main rotor blade because this will usually make the helicopter tilt at a 90 degree angle and they'll lose a lot of altitude trying to recover. And after a while, the rotor will actually blow up causing the helicopter to fall to the ground. And against jets, this, this weapon does absolutely nothing. It tickles them. It's basically like shooting a giant flare into the sky at the jet. So don't use it. Anyways, that is everything that you need to know about the new Up and Atomizer weapon. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. I'm thinking about doing a little fun challenge where I get a group of people and we all do the 2015 heist only using the ray gun. So let me know if you guys want to see that down in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.